The Europeans built three slave castles in West Africa. All the castles built then were in the previous day Gold Coast, now called Ghana. The three slave castles are the Elmina slave castle, the Osu slave castle, and the Cape Coast slave castles. Three slave castles be Elmina slave castle, Osu slave castle, and Cape Coast slave castle. The Elmina slave castle was said to be built in 1482 by the Portuguese. The Elmina castle is about 14 kilometers away from the Cape Coast castle. And it is the oldest and the biggest slave castle in West Africa. Wow. The Portuguese built El Mina Slave Castle in 1482. El Mina Slave Castle is the biggest and the oldest slave castle. Where that one day? That one day about 14 kilometers away from here. You know, be far from here. It's not far. No, it's not. Far. Not like how many hours? Oh, it'd be minutes, like 12, 14 minutes. Shockingly, churches were built at the top of the male cells or the male dungeons. This served as a worshipping ground for the Europeans and the humble beginning of Christianity in West Africa. Yeah. The British slave traders, they built a church on top of the male dungeon. Okay. The church is called Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. Society okay. for the Propagation of the Gospel is an Anglican church. So the Cape Coast slave castle was built in 1664, which makes it 360 years in the year 2024. This place then built and the British built in 1664. 1664. 1664. So 1664 to 2024 now be 360 years old. Africans were contracted as laborers to build this castle, which they never knew that one day would serve as the beginning of their suffering and prison. The wow. users. Unfortunately, <laughs> now we, we don't know say we they built our own traps. So, so they call your deceiver. We don't know what they us. Then come and they bring guns. Then bring okay. clothing items. Then bring uh, 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 bottles of schnapps, red wine. Give our chief. Father, give our people, our chief in West Africa. They yes. manipulate them. So then they don't know say. Then they build them, them our own hello. The mill dungeon, it go shock you. Mill dungeon be different place. Mm -hmm. Look at the floor, very slippery, hmm. very dark. We they go inside that, I go put the light out so we all we could see how the male dungeon look like. The male slave dungeon has five chambers. This be this be male slave dungeon. So the male slave dungeon has five chambers. Each of the chambers at a time contains two hundred slaves. Five in each one of the chamber, like yeah. in each one of them, were about two hundred African men. Five. I mean, one thousand. About one thousand. And all of them are only West all Africa. Of them, West Africa. Some come out from Mali, Burkina Faso, then walk barefooted. Some walk for more than two months before they reach before here. They reach here. And for here in the dungeon, our ancestors were held from two weeks to three months. They be here, then they sleep. They be here, then they eat. No food. Mosquitoes, they come. Like, make I show you something. You see that hole there? Yeah. That was the only source of ventilation. Where did they light? This room that contained over 200 adult African slaves at a time has only a small trench that conveys urine and feces from the room into the oceans. Yeah, the with the urine, they pass, they, pass, they pass like this to the ocean. How much feces and urine can this small trench hold? Because hmm. so they did the darkness, some of them were blind in here. Okay, some people blind here. Blind here, many died here. So the British people, mm -hmm. our ancestors with them die here. They don't bury them. They take their dead bodies and put them in the ocean. The floors of the dungeons were made with bricks, but the blood and the remains and the shades and faces of our forefathers have covered up these bricks to make it slippery and smooth. And it holds the d DNA of our forefathers who once lived in these rooms. So the original floor of the male slave dungeon mm -hmm. with this okay, with these bricks. The original floor is made of bricks. Yes. This dark floor is not part of the beginning of the construction of the floor okay. of this male slave dungeon. Okay. So we were supposed to be seeing bricks all over because the original floor is it's, made of bricks. Yeah. But because there's been many African men here, yeah. this is where they were sleeping, eating, defecating, dying over the years. They are feces, blood, food particles, piled up eventually to become this dark floor. Yes. So this dark floor is the blood, the feces, the sweat of our ancestors. And the bees. Yes. So this contains the traces of the DNA of our ancestors. 
say many Europeans they claim say our ancestors they no fight back. Yeah. Now be lie. Be fallacy. Okay. All the African men with them fight back for the male dungeon. Mm. The British slave traders chained them, shackled them, beat them, and put them in a very small cell with a called male condemned cell. Okay. No windows, no food, no air, no light, no water. Mm. So all of them die. The small room that is much smaller than a toilet served as a cell for the black Africans that resisted the slave trade when they were in custody. So all those men that kept resisting were held in this small cell and locked up like this. No windows, no food, no air, no light, no water till they all died. This door is an original door. It's been here for over 200 years. Love them, man. The numbers of the African men that were brought here depended on the numbers of the African men that fought back. Okay. So imagine if the number was 15 or 20. They would chain them, beat them up, and bring all of them here. Then the British army officers would close the three doors and lock them up in here. The African men were here without windows, no food, no air, no light, no water. So you see the floor? Yeah. You see that the uh, markings on the floor? Yeah. So this marking. The slaves who died in custody were thrown into the oceans nearby, but the front yard or the forecourt served as the graveyard for the Europeans or the British that died in the castle. This is a small cell we call female punishment cell. Okay, female punishment, punishment cell. cell. Yeah. So there are two female dungeons. These are the two female dungeons, and that's the door of no return. Okay. So the British slave traders will go there, they'll force the women out and rape them. But some African women resisted rape. Yeah. All the African women that resisted rape were brought here for punishment. Yeah. yeah. This small you see place. the small hole that you did it? Yeah. That's where the women were releasing themselves. If by any chance you'll watch this video from the beginning to this end, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So, more than good, you're not like.